Okay kids, previously we did the strokes of C, A, O and E. Now, coming on to the fifth and sixth stroke today, which are going to be the last one. So, today we are going to take L for the upper, upper stroke. Like, red line, touch the red line, come back again and then L. Up slanting line, come back straight near to this curve and make a pin. This way. You have to take the loop and then bring it back straight. Don't go very far away from this tail. It should come near. Alright. Now I'm going to tell you the mistakes which most of the children do. Up and then this. Up and then this. They take this tail forward. You don't have to take this forward. You have to bring this straight down near to this bend. This way. It should be closer to this tail. Alright. So this way you are going to make L. It is similar to E. The only thing is that the loop will be from near red line. This way. So in next five lines. One, two, three, four, five. Five lines you'll do L. Coming on to the sixth stroke. Which we'll take to the bottom red line. This was towards the top red line. Now we are going to do the stroke towards the bottom red line. Here we are going to take G. Go up, down, turn. C. This way. Now the mistake which you people will do is you people don't take this bend till here and then here. No. What you do is you just take a turn from here then you go back here then you bring it here. This is wrong. The more you take this bend the easier it will be to make G. Okay. And one more thing that take this cut near the neck of the G. Don't take it before. Like this. Don't take it like this. Bring it near to its neck. This way. This way. Alright. So this is wrong and this is right. Similarly, this is right and this is wrong. Don't do this. This will be wrong. So in this manner, you are going to complete the page. So children, don't take your L over the red line and below the blue line. And similarly, it goes for G. Don't bring your Gs below the red line and over the blue line. So do your best. Bye-bye.